In Cape Town, South Africa, this super yacht sailed through a diplomatic storm. It's worth around 16.5 million euros and is one of three registered to the Equator Guinean Ministry of Defence. It was used by Equatorial Guinea's Vice President, Theodorin Nguema Obiang. The yacht and Theodorin's two South African mansions were seized because he owes Daniel van Rensburg more than 2.2 million euros in damages. That's because a decade ago, Theodorin wrongly imprisoned Daniel for almost 500 days after an airline deal with his uncle failed. The torture and assault Daniel survived in the notorious Black Beach prison still haunts him. The worst part was the, the rape and abuse of the women and the children. Um, you know, as to me, that is, there's nothing worse in the world than that, and there's nothing you can do about it. His recent court victory was overshadowed by the subsequent arrest of two other South Africans in Equatorial Guinea. Engineers Peter Huxham and Frick Portrita were accused of smuggling drugs shortly after Theodorin's boat was seized. Never in my life! Not, it's not mine. Three weeks later and they still haven't been charged. Their families are terrified. We don't even know if they're alive. And, you know, as I said to the ambassador, all we need is just, I just need a photograph for him just to pick up the phone and say, I don't care. The men were arrested after Theodorin threatened to retaliate against South Africa. The editor of this newspaper says the arrests are no coincidence. On doit obliger à Theodorin de respecter la loi. Theodorin must be forced to respect the law and the South African government must be forced to break off relations with Guinea because they've kidnapped people. They were falsely accused to put pressure on South Africa to release the boat. The blue shadow was just released. It left Cape Town last week. But the South African prisoners in a 